case uh, containing a, a, a Raspberry Pi computer um, as well as a Wi-Fi um, access point. It's just running up there. Um, so if you go to, let's see if, if you manage to crash it, because it probably can't handle too many um, connections, but if you feel lucky, then just go to um, the SSID of the video, you should see it now um, in the Wi-Fi spectrum, and then just browse to after.video forward slash um, SRC, um, while I just talk a little bit about uh, what the video book should be, or what we can aim with. It is about theorizing a work of video, um, the video book in itself should be kind of a reflection uh, within uh, the audio visual around, so to say, so the text, but we actually use uh, audio visual um, files uh, to put our arguments together. This one here deals with the, the first um, issue deals with the notion of assemblies, um, assemblages, uh, which is this one um, of repository a Raspberry Pi. Um, we started off with what we call the SOS box. Um, using a pirate box uh, to go along um, conferences collecting materials around the first one spectrals of the spectacle and um, around the topic of uh, war as well as sports, um, etc. Um, so that was Istanbul and Brazil. Um, and that kind of links to the hyper-video theory, um, which I just have two references. One is a political film. Um, uh, Harun Faroqi featured in the conference Image Operations, that's 2014, you may want to look up. And the other one is kind of the um, cyberpunk uh, William Gibson movie, uh, No Maps for These Territories, which kind of think, um, or I would say, uh, theoretically within uh, moving images or audiovisual contents. Hypervideo in itself, uh, we refer that to Popcorn Maker. Popcorn Maker is a kind of a JavaScript, it's popcorn.js. Uh, I don't think it exists anymore. Um, I actually start, I stopped developing it. Uh, but Yosha Jaeger, who has been um, developing the um, Hypervideo framework, um, now called Frame Trail, uh, based a lot of his coding on uh, Mozilla's Popcorn Maker. Um, and then there's, of course, also the Pirate Cinema in Berlin, uh, Padma. TRXDB, um, as well as the Scalar Alliance for Network and Visual Culture, which you can look up on the scalar.usc.edu and see the showcases. Um, open Hypervideo can be found under uh, openhypervideo.org, um, filmicweb.org, and I give you in the end the repository for frame. I'm a, I'm a cutting. In and out, do you have to hear me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, so, Frames of Mind in Transition, uh, which is kind of a seamless collaboration between film and history and video production, as well as Video Vortex. Uh, video Vortex has been dealing for a long time with online video. Um, one of the recent issues um, were the eyes of video and also the use of um, interlace, which is another case study which has been using um, JavaScript as well. Uh, we kind of see uh, the browser becoming a canvas for uh, video production. Um, we published this video book with um, the Liquid Theory TV series, uh, which is a series with Open Humanities Press, um, who actually kindly offered us to produce this video book, um, which kind of refers to computer books. So there we go. One of the latest uh, or earliest uh, references we found was called Winchester's Nightmare. Uh, it was basically a 386 computer you could buy, and while reading uh, which is a nightmare. Basically, the story goes that it kind of deletes itself. So you actually have in the end a non-existing book, if you want to say so, once you have read everything, and uh, it destroyed itself. And the other one which we refer our um, reader book to is Device 7 book, um, Incompatible Laboratorium. Um, you see there, the, just a small microcomputer powered up by a battery and allowing also for an access over a Wi-Fi access point. So that's kind of what we're doing now with the Raspberry Pi, just a bit more powerful in order to be able to uh, display those videos, which is kind of now with the recent Pi technology, with the recent microcomputer technology is kind of available. So we really can kind of publish uh, uh, moving images within these kind of microcomputer being boxed and sent out, what we kind of call um, assemblies on demand. So we found here the partner OpenMute, um, who uh, offered us to actually assemble those devices 
like printer demands um, doing the same concept as an assembler demands. So they have the whole um, list of how to actually produce those video books. And you can order them and actually get them delivered to your um, more or less. And that's kind of what we are uh, kind of looking into uh, producing those what we refer to as time capsules. Because of course all the kind of stuff which is now there offline, uh, there exists as an online version, but all which is offline is more or less like a time capsule uh, containing, if you want to say, sort of the cache of the current uh, dates uh, of the browser which has, has been browsed. <coughs> um, those are kind of examples of titans um, uh, of Open Humanities Press. Um, and the video book itself uh, has uh, eight uh, different contributions. So we have controlled societies um, by Pete Woodbridge and Gary Hall, Claire Berkhall. EC system pool uh, by Sarah Kirksall, um, scannable images. Uh, so the first two are more or less uh, classical hyperlinked uh, um, examples. Scannable images kind of should, it doesn't work on this one, I'm more just to fix something, but it uh, deals with kind of augmented reality. And guided meditation is a two video clip uh, drive or, or, or browse through meditation. Contingent, contingent feminist tactics for working with machines by Lucia uh, Egna Riojas, and uh, capturing the ephemeral contestation of the collision of living moments and frozen statements. Um, that can kind of look into tactical media uh, as well as surveillance assemblies, uh, where we reflect a little bit on the work of uh, Mating Google Picnic and the CCTV sniffing. Um, and the last one is you speaking around full circle by Andreas Kresky, which also wrote the book itself, we referenced into it as well, Video Theory. Um, so these are kind of the contributions you should uh, find there again, uh, which, which kind of deals also with politics of referencing, because we do um, have uh, materials on uh, that pie, of course. Uh, the idea is how can we actually use um, these materials? They are kind of copyrighted sometimes, there is intellectual property issues, etc. Uh, but we um, aim at our viewing with uh, moving image, um, so how can we do that? Uh, which leads also to kind of hybrid referencing sphere, which you want to say so, or information linking where we reference to uh, Mario uh, Maboro, 1980, is less the view of information and contextual information. So if you want to try frame train, you find it on frametrain.org. And uh, the whole code is also published since I think about two, two weeks um, on GitHub. Uh, so you can download it and test it out for yourself. Again, to remind you, the SSID is after the video. If it's still working, you can connect to it. And if you want to browse the video book, you have to type in after the video forward slash SRC. That's more than it. Thank you very much. <laughs>